Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tick Tactical, and in this video, I'm going to run through how you can create your own soundboard on the Stream Deck. Now, I'm not talking about the run of the mill fart burp sounds that you can do on anything. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about using in game chat to record and play back through your microphone, all with the push of a button. Okay, this can distract, annoy, have an advantage even in some FPS games. Also, it could get you banned just as a disclaimer. But anyway, my name's Tick Tactical. Uh, you can find me on Twitch. I'm a variety streamer. I'll be on most days of the week. Uh, so come by, say hello, uh, drop a like and a subscribe and all the other stuff that you're supposed to say. But let's get into the goddamn video. So let's get started. I'm assuming you're going to have Stream Deck if you're watching this video. So what the first thing you need to do is download an extension. So if you just click on this button here, you will open up your extensions page. And then you want to search for sound deck. This is what is going to actually project the sound, record the sound and all that goodness. So we'll click on that, click get. Once you have that, it should open up in your side panel here. And there are a lot of different things that you can do, but for now, we're just going to add in the sampler. So I'm just going to drag that over. So the sampler is essentially a button that you can hold down to record audio snippets. And then that button, once it's recorded, will change to a play button and then you can play that through the problem is you're going to be playing that over your default audio settings on your computer you are not going to be playing it through your microphone which is where the memes come in because if you can play it through your microphone you can play it over any voice chat in any game on any uh, call it's brilliant so to get it to play through your microphone i'm going to go through two different uh, ways of doing this the first one is using some free software called voice meter banana the second is by using the wavelink app so the wavelink app requires you to have an elgato uh, device so like a, a wave xlr or a microphone to be able to use it so i'll go through the free version first and the link should be down in the description so uh, VB Audio, they do this. It's a, a multi-channel mixer, essentially, a virtual mixer that you can get for your desktop. So if you click download on this, so once you've downloaded that, you just double click the application folder, run through the installation steps and then restart your computer. Now that's an important step because it is because it's changing drivers on your computer, you will need to restart for it to be able to take effect. So once you have it installed, if you go ahead and just open this up now, um, it's, I'll just explain how this works. So it splits your audio into different channels. So you've got a stereo input. So for yourself, if you just select your microphone, so I've selected the microphone from my headset, and then it also gives you a virtual input. Now this is something that's, that enables you to pass audio through this particular channel. And this is quite important. You can see that we're running now and we're talking through our microphone up here. And that's coming out of channel B. Now, if we are going to be putting sounds through our microphone, we don't want to have to hear every single sound and all the audio coming from your mic in your headset. So that's why we set it up as a virtual input. So to set it up in your stream deck, you will need to select a capture device. So for yourself, it's probably going to be default. This is just any audio that's coming from your computer. Uh, you'll then need to set up an output path. So I've just set one up voice clips select that uh, click encode to mp3 and normalize volume and then this is where we set our new playback device so this is where the sound that you're recording and playing is going to play through now we want to set this to our mic so to be able to do that as you can see in here we've got loads of new settings for voice meter and we want to target voice meter a here so we want to target, sorry, we want to target voice meter input. So if we look down the list, we should see voice meter input. There we go. So if we select that, I tend to set mine to about 75% volume because it can get quite loud. Now that we've got that all hooked up, if we look over here, there's no volume or no noise coming from our main A input. Okay, so this is what's feeding out. So let's just test if this works first. So now it's coming through both channels. I want to check that this is working. So the best way of testing, so I'm just going to get a YouTube video up and I'm going to press play. I'm going to hold uh, down right when I want to clip. I'm I'm there we go. 
So now I've got that clipped. If I press play on this, see the icons changed in the Stream Deck to a play icon instead of a record icon. That means it's captured the audio. I'm then going to have a look over here and I'm going to press play on this clip. I'm Phil. I'm very Phil. So as you can see, it played only on the A channel and not on the B channel as well, which is exactly what we're after. Uh, I'm now going to look over at a mic check website to see if it is coming through correctly. So I've put a link to this in the description as well. And we want to test, we're looking at the microphone that we want to test. So because we're running out of B1, so let me just recap. So we've got an A and a B channel. These two combine to make a B channel, essentially. It mixes them down. So we want to go voice meter out B. So as we go in, it should be picking up my voice now. I'm then going to play that clip. I'm Phil. I'm very Phil. So as you can see, that's coming out of uh, that one channel that we've selected. Okay, so that's really, really good. So it, anything that you want to set up will be coming out of uh, B on the voice meter app. So this will work for games and voice chat rooms. You know, if you're in Discord, you set your output to be this here. So B. Um, and that's how you get your voice and soundboards to play at the same time. So now we've got this piece of audio saved. We can use this whenever we like. Um, if we want to clear this, we just add in a, a little icon like this. You can click on this. It gives you like a nice visual highlight when you click it. And once you've clicked it, you just click on the clip that you want to delete and that will revert back to being a record button. So how I like to set this up is I like to have different rows for different uh, capture devices. Um, so I like to say, look, these are the ones that I've captured from game. These are the ones that I've captured using like a, a browser input. And these is, this is voice chat. So anything that I record in here, I will save. So these are some uh, that I've managed to capture of my friends. I can save these and reuse them. So what I'd do is I'd uh, hold down, say voice chat here, create a clip there. And then when I'm happy with it, great clip. Put that down there. Copy it, so control C, go in here, paste it there, and then I've got that one forever. And if I go back, I just copy again and paste over it. So I've got a fresh soundboard ready to go. Now all these are set up for me using Wavelink and I'm gonna get into how I use Wavelink in a second. So this one is set to capture from voice chat. This one is set to capture from browser and this one is from game. So this is, this correlates directly to game audio. So that's how I do it for, for my setup, but obviously it might be different to yours. I quite like having multiple that I can press. You know, if I don't quite capture one right, I can go over again, press it again. So um, that's how you create and that's how you delete files, audio files, and you can play them over your mic. I'm now gonna run into how you do this with Wavelink. So Wavelink is fairly similar, um, although you have some slightly different nuances. It's a little bit easier than using the, the other one because you get these channels out of the box. Um, so assuming you've set all these channels up already, it's pretty easy to do. You can just click on that and select it and they give you some options to use. So your system sounds come out of there, your browser comes out of there, music, sound effects, game, etc. And then when you're mapping these to your settings in your audio, minimize that a little bit, in your audio mixer, you can say, right, I want all my output devices to go off my system. I want my input device to be the microphone FX. And then you can go down here and say, look, uh, for any output, I want it to use browser. So any sound that comes from your, uh, let's just play this again. Any sounds that come from your browser will come through here only so let's just try that again How do you feel? Uh, heavyweight champion of the world and it mixes all those down into one channel so that's what you want to do first of all secondly you want to click on your sound effects icon here and you want to click this this is root to microphone effects any effects that you pass through sfx will then route to your microphone channel so this step's quite important 
Once you have all your channels set up in Wavelink, you can go over here. We can create a new sampler. And it's going to be very similar to the way that we did it with uh, voice meter, except your capture device is going to be the one that you set. So if you just want game, Wavelink game, then you just set it to game. Output path is going to be exactly the same. Go to MP3 and your playback device. So this is going to be a little bit different. So instead of setting it up to one of the voice meter ones, we're going to set this up to a Wavelink. Um, so we're going to set this to Wavelink SFX. So now whenever I record something, it will play this back through SFX and then get rerouted to your microphone. So I'm going to come back over to the one that I made earlier. So this is where I store all the sounds and all the recordings. I have multiple delete keys, which you can click and quickly delete a sound if it's not working. But it's as simple as that and it gets brilliant results. Um, so I hope this video has helped you. Um, I'm on Discord and there's a link in the description if you ever want to ask any questions, any tips. Um, make sure you like and subscribe this video and I'll be doing a load more in how to get into streaming and all the rest of that lovely goodness. So I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.